Hi, I'm Ashley James. A violent morning in Baltimore City. Four people were shot before sunrise. There was a double shooting in downtown Baltimore just before 4 a.m. It happened on North Utah Street at West Saratoga Street near Lexington Market. Police say one man was shot in the ankle and another was shot in the shin. Both are expected to be okay. And just before 5 a.m., a woman was shot in the back on West Garrison Avenue in Northwest Baltimore. No word on her condition. And around 12:30 a.m., another woman was shot on East 32nd Street near Greenmount Avenue in Waverly. She is expected to live. Police haven't made any arrests in any of these shootings. Also, we're following a story. A woman punched by a Baltimore City police officer after hitting another officer twice has pleaded guilty to two counts of assault, but she won't spend any time in prison. This was the incident back on May 29th at the intersection of Baltimore and Gay Streets downtown. Body camera video was later released where you can see 43 year old Charnisha Street hitting an officer in the face twice. Then a second officer hit her, knocking her out. The Baltimore State's Attorney's Office declined to charge that officer, saying the use of force was justified. After that guilty plea, Sharnisha Street was sentenced to two years in prison, but that sentence was suspended. She will also get two years probation, and her attorney says she is likely to file a civil rights suit against the officer that punched her. Maryland is part of a 17 state lawsuit against the Trump administration's policy with ICE. The policy says international students cannot stay in the country if they take all their classes online in the fall. It could affect more than 5,000 students within the university system of Maryland alone. Maryland Attorney General Brian Frosch says he will represent Maryland and the university system of Maryland as a plaintiff in the multi-state lawsuit. Frosch says the decision can disrupt the education of more than 5,300 students at USM institutions. Now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Tuesday, everyone. On this Tuesday, we are tracking ample sunshine. We are tracking lower humidity, above average temperatures for today, and that's going to stay for the seven-day forecast. And then we're going to bring the showers back into the picture, along with some thunderstorms as well, as we work our way into your Thursday. So we have a couple of dry days, and then we'll start to see some change. We have dry days in terms of the muggy conditions as well. So today, lower humidity, feeling okay, nice and comfortable for the most part, especially when you compare it to what we had yesterday, the day before that, and the days before for that. The muggy meter will continue to go back up and we'll hit the upper 60s and the 70s as we head into your Friday, into the weekend and beyond that. So that's why I say really enjoy the dew points, these numbers in the upper 50s and the low 60s for today. The future cast really not going to pick up on a whole lot for today or for tomorrow. As we head into Thursday, we bring back the chance for the scattered showers and storms and a few more clouds out there, of course, as well. For today, the pool forecast, I know you're headed out and about. It is going to be a great day to hit the pool, but I just need you to slather on the sunscreen and make sure you have the sunglasses and that wide brim hat as well. High temperatures going with the upper 80s to right around 90 degrees and the 90 not going to feel too bad because the humidity is going to be a little bit lower. But there we go, Ashley, across the board. We are in a full blown heat wave out there as those temperatures are going to stay in the 90s and it's going to feel more like the upper 90s as we head into Saturday right through Monday. All right, Lynette, thank you. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch Live Radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ashley James. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.